Finally, one more thing I want to show um, in the timeline are improvements to onion skinning. Let's go back to this path animation. So this is the, the ball that sort of follows the complex path. Um, onion skins have gotten a few enhancements. So let's turn on onion skins. And I'm going to turn on a few frames. Oh. So normally onion skins only show outlines. So I'm going to turn on several frames of onion skins. And the first enhancement is that the outlines sort of fade. They become more transparent the further away they are from the current frame. And the second thing is Onion skin frames that are before the current frame are in red. Onion skin frames that are after the current frame are in green. So it's sort of, you know, for complex movement, it sort of distinguishes upcoming motion in green and past motion in red. And this fading of transparency sort of shows you how far away, sort of, at least relatively kind of, uh, an onion skin is from the current frame. So that's um, that's the outline mode. The coloring and the transparency are new for version 9, hopefully to make onion skins a little um, easier to, to understand what you're looking at. And then the other part is outlines only. So this was not an option before. It was always outlines. But now if I turn off outlines only, I see the full shape, you know, the full uh, appearance of the objects before and after the current time. So there are a lot of onion skins turned on here. Let's turn off a couple. But it shows me exactly where the object is going, what it's really going to look like, just sort of faded out, partially transparent. This should make onion skins uh, quite a bit more uh, sort of readable or, you know, give you a really better feel for what's going on. Outlines only is still an option because, you know, things can get really complex. You might see too much. Um, but, you know, you can choose which way you want to look at it now. Out, um, when you turn outlines only off so that you're seeing the full object, that works for images as well as vector layers. So you can now, onion skinning wasn't really very usable for image layers before, but now you can see images in onion skin mode. Um, and that's about it for onion skins. I think that'll make them a lot more useful. And that's, I think, covers pretty much all the new stuff in the timeline.